Uh, Jason, welcome back from Argentina. You had a couple of days to think about the tournament. What are your reflections? Uh, overall, it's obviously um, a good effort by the boys. Um, we worked really hard through those pool stages and that semi-final and you know, we're a man down for a couple of games there as well, which took a lot of juice out of the tank, but um, bitterly disappointed with the final to fall uh, so short when we had our chances. Um, just really, really gutted by it. Um, I guess, obviously, as you mentioned, disappointment, but there's a lot of positivity back here, a lot of support. Did you guys get a sense of that over there? Yeah, it was awesome. Um, we had a lot of videos um, being sent from, you know, from John Eels um, to the Governor-General, um, even the Prime Minister sent a tweet out. So um, the boys and the staff certainly felt all that support back home, which was really great. And what do you think were kind of the key differences this year to unlocking a performance like that when, you know, obviously the last couple of years it's been, it's been pretty tough for the 20s? Yeah, I think probably a couple of things. Number one is also the access to the players across the program has been really good this year. Um, I've mentioned previously that you can't build combination without time in the saddle with all the boys being together. And you know, you play a semi-final against Argentina and you're a man down for 50 minutes of the game. And if the boys haven't been together and they don't trust each other and they haven't built combination, you just don't get a performance like that. So that, that would certainly be one. Um, we had a fantastic leadership group, uh, a lot of boys backing up from last year that um, set their sights early on winning it and they're really hungry to do a good job over there, which was good. Um, and I think just the way that we approach the camps with the training content we put in there this year um, allowed the boys to be at their best for the World Cup. Razor, welcome back. Have you had a, has it all sunk in, I guess, the last few weeks? Uh, I suppose just sort of now and you've seen all the boys giving each other a cuddle and sort of getting a bit emotional, a bit teary and you sort of realise like you probably won't be in a team like this ever again and won't play with these boys ever again. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's sad, yeah. It's, it's, it's a weird feeling, I suppose. What do you think it is about this group? Everyone's spoken about how close you've been and that sort of thing. What do you, what do you think it was that made you guys so tight? Um, I don't know. I think just everyone in the team is just a really good bloke, I think. Staff included, to be fair. Everyone just gets along. There's no egos. Um, and everyone just can have a laugh and can pay each other out and get over and no one takes things too seriously. And well, then when it comes to football, I think everyone knows their job and they have some very, very talented rugby players in this team. So I think that just accumulates and I think that's a very, very good formula for a, an enjoyable tour. How much of a sense do you guys have as a team of, of your achievement as well the last few weeks getting to that final? Yeah, I think um, just the week leading up to the final, all the media swamping in. Um, everyone sort of knew that was sort of hasn't has only happened once, and that was what nine years ago in Rosario. Um, so I think obviously the main goal is to win it, but unfortunately that didn't happen. And uh, even though we lost by a point, everyone everyone was gutted, but everyone sort of knows that we were we were very very close to almost winning. And I guess looking back at that 2010 team, there's guys like Michael Hooper, Liam Gill, Matt Tamua, like those are some pretty big names. Do you feel like this team can go on and, and you know, make a mark in Super Rugby? Yeah, 100%. I think there's some very, very talented footballers in this team. They're all very talented. But it's weird, like, you, you, know, you know that sort of reflecting back on that 2010 team and then it's kind of weird looking around the boys you spent six months with and be like, oh, there's actually a few qualities in this team. So um, that's kind of scary and kind of weird and... Can, just, yeah, it's a weird feeling, but you know, I definitely think a lot of these boys will, in the next couple of years, go into Super Rugby and do very well, and um, a lot more will go and play Wallabies, so it should be a good couple of years and good, good success for Australian Rugby in the future.